The Martian book novel is a science fiction book written by Andy Weir. It has been promoted like crazy and there's going to be a motion picture on this uh, book in the near future and a lot of people, the science fiction or science people have been um, have been promoting the hell out of it and there are many quotes stating that this is the best uh, advertisement for NASA so that kind of made me curious about it and I tried to read this book and I must say it is actually something like Emperor's New Clothes it's just bloody boring so most of us have seen the trailer starring uh, the bankable was his face uh, Matt Damon and other stars who are quite famous like uh, Mara something something and the rest it seems like a interesting movie but I do not know the, the, the novel seems to be pretty boring I've read about 50% of the novel and when I say I read 50% of the novel is because 50% from the middle half to the end from the middle to the end I just skipped right through it because it was boring very boring the first half I tried to read it of course I succeeded in reading it and subsequently I thought I'm not gonna read the second half it's just too boring it's very technical and it's crazily crazily boring I do not know why people like it it's just really boring I, I, I really can't I really don't understand why everybody likes it it's just so boring the only thing that this book the Martian might be good for is uh, the only novel in the toilet if you were to take a shit and you want to take a shit faster then you might as well use it to read then time will actually flow faster not because you are enjoying something but because you want your shit to come out of your body as soon as possible in the first half of the novel uh, most of the passages or chapters are from the point of view of one person that was stranded on Mars that was quite okay until he did all the science stuff by calculating this and that and that was very tedious both for me as a reader and maybe for the person who was stranded on Mars I really can't believe people enjoy this novel it only gets interesting the I think the concept of the, the chapters I mean the, the structure of the the book is 99% of it is dull checklist stuff uh, you have to checklist everything it's just boring science stuff and 1% is enjoyable where it, it is like the uh, the end of the chapter there will be a, a joke so 99% of the chapter will be boring as shit and at last the, f the 1% will be at the, la at, the, at the end of the chapter which is kind of like funny and it's something like maybe people they love the novel because you have been like, like tortured you have been waterboarded all the time 99% of the time and at the end of the torture session the 1% is equivalent to the torturer giving you a cone of ice cream so it's something like that hopefully you understand what I'm talking about what I'm trying to get to 99% is torture, 1% is delight and from there maybe the brain I mean maybe people were tricked into enjoying it and losing their sanity in the process don't get me wrong there's some enjoyable uh, parts of the novel um, I was actually expecting the Martian to actually die on Mars but that did not happen so it's a cookie cutter Hollywood good goody two shoe good ending stuff so yeah too bad it did not like go or veer into the dark side and present to us a more realistic 
a realistic story on what it is like to travel in space. You know why we don't see any other aliens visiting us? It's because space is a fucking death, death hazard. Nobody wants to go and explore space because if somebody wants to explore space, that means they are suicidal and crazy. Hey, maybe people in NASA are smart and crazy. Maybe the line between between their IQs and their propensity to be or want to be a lemming is just a small condom. The enjoyable parts that I alluded to was when the chapter is not focusing on one person's narrative, which is the Martian, but chapters where there are normal human beings talking to each other. Those I find enjoyable, uh, especially the ones involving the the other seven Mar other seven astronauts who are going back to Earth. That was interesting, and also what's happening on Earth in NASA itself. So would I recommend uh, reading this novel? No, I would not recommend it at all because it is 99% bollocks and boring, boring stuff whereas there's only 1% of enjoyable banter or enjoyable, there's an enjoyable joke. If you want something that's good and great and perfect something that's science fiction-y, then go and read something like The Forever War. So, other good, good uh, science fiction novels out there would be I Am Legend, that is science fiction I think, something more towards the vampire side, that is very good as well. I can see that this book, The Martian, I don't think it will be winning any any of those Hugo awards or science fiction novel awards at all. So like everything from Hollywood, it's more fluff than substance. It's more about the the advertising and the hype. Yeah, most it's like all things American is hype uh, versus substance. Where this in this case, this novel is more hype than substance. If there is anything that I can say, something that's good, something that that praises this novel is the language or the stuff or the literature in this book is simple and it would be suitable or it's something like catered towards the primary students or uh, children, I like say from the age of 10 to 15. Uh, that's the level of intelligence that this this book can be catered to because it's dry and it's kind of like boring go and read those I mean go and uh, introduce this book to these uh, teenagers because their minds are not fully developed yet and this book might be good for them because it's simple and it can be boring unfortunately but it is simple enough uh, it can actually maybe hopefully uh, interest these teenagers, interest them uh, to the genre of science fiction and from there maybe once they get older they can get or they can get introduced to more interesting science fiction books that deserves more hype than this schmuck of a novel called The Martian by Andy Weir. So is this novel worth the toilet paper that is printed on? No. It's is not